Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from October 31st to November 6th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description for the extended. Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, Sagittarius, judgment is your challenge, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You have the five of wands in reverse. Okay, your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the judgment. There's a big realization that's coming in, an epiphany that's coming in for you. We're gonna clarify your challenge and get more information in a moment. In the past, you have the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Sun. There was a very important decision that you needed to make about your life here in the past. I do feel like this had a lot to do with your happiness. We're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. Present moment, you have the Temperance, the Seven of Swords, and the Star. So there's definitely a very strong... Uh, goal that you have in the present moment. And there is definitely a decision here that needs to be made about a person that you're involved with. I do feel there is some sort of deception, dishonesty, lies in the present moment, and you're trying to be patient in the situation. We're gonna find out why these cards are showing up and what you need to know in a moment. In the near future, you have the Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that you decide to cut somebody off here, okay? Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's been a lot of on and off between you and this person and as patient as you're trying to be right now in the near future I see that this person causes some sort of pain or you cause some sort of pain to this person and that's what gets your attention some sort of major event takes place that kind of changes your direction in life okay and somebody here doesn't want to fight anymore there's constant arguing and bickering in a relationship that you're involved in and somebody here air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries um, could also be I did say an air sign as well. Somebody here just doesn't want to fight with you anymore, Sagittarius. Like they're done fighting and arguing, okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on and uh, what you need to be consciously aware of. Let's clarify your challenge. So the judgment is clarified by the hangman, the empress, and the four of pentacles. Your biggest challenge here is the fact that you are coming to some sort of realization about a person, okay? A relationship that you're involved in or a situation that you're nurturing and loving. There's something here about you being in a place of not being able to take action, but needing to look at the situation from a different perspective. So even though you're holding on to this Sagittarius and you're not really letting it go, again, it could be a person, place, or thing, you are in a place of reevaluating something you are in a place of trying to look at things from a different perspective or at least that's what you're being called to do and by doing that Sagittarius by looking at things from a different perspective it's really going to help you to come to some sort of realization about something because there's something here that you're nurturing and that you're really hoping will you know bring forth the abundance that you're looking for but you also need to keep an open mind here okay so this coming week is about you keeping an open mind still holding on to something that you really want to nurture and that you love, but also looking at things from a different perspective because there could be other opportunities and things around you that are trying to get your attention, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the two of pentacles. There was a decision here in the past, the world, the tower, and the nine of cups. You decided to break up with someone because you were focused on yourself. You were focused on your own happiness. A lot of you went through a really bad breakup in the past here. Something here ended. King of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Wands. You have the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. So in the recent past, the reason why you decided to maybe move into a new direction with someone else, okay? Some of you started a new relationship with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, water sign, Cancer, or a Leo is really strong here. And you decide to move on with someone new here or a new situation, or you decided to have a completely new beginning on your own because somebody here wasn't emotionally available to you. So I think Sagittarius in the past, your priority was your happiness 
and because this person couldn't give you what you needed, you decided to maybe go off and meet somebody new, start a new beginning with someone else, or you decided to have a completely new beginning on your own. Okay. That's what I see happened here in the past. Now in the present moment, there's a lot of trust issues. Somebody here is lying, st stealing, cheating, not being honest. Possibly here. You've tried to be patient with this person or they've tried to be patient with you. Why is the seven of swords here in the present moment? What does Sagittarius need to know? So the seven of swords is clarified by the eight of pentacles. You have the queen of pentacles and the knight of wands. So in the present moment, I do strongly feel that you are trying to work things out with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody here feels taken advantage of, okay? This could also be happening in the workplace as well. Either way, somebody here gets a sense, Sagittarius, that you've been on and off with them. There's been an on and off energy in and out, not being consistent, not knowing where they stand with you in the present moment. So something here here isn't moving as quick as maybe you want it to. And this, again, um, this is a common theme for everybody. It's not only you, everybody is going through this where there's so much delays and things are not moving quick, quick enough for people. So the temperance is clarified by the three of pentacles, the two of swords and the seven of pentacles. Someone here in the present moment is overthinking this situation. They're starting to overthink the situation because things are taking too long. And although you want to work things out with this person, they're closed off. So how are you supposed to, 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 to cooperate with someone if they're closed off from you and they're overthinking or overanalyzing the situation? So why is the star here in the present moment? What does Sagittarius need to know? So the star is clarified by the fool. You have the seven of cups and the five of pentacles. So in the present moment, somebody here is choosing to walk away because although they want to have a new beginning with you, Sagittarius, they need to know that they're clear on what's going on. There's a lack of clear communication in terms of the direction of this relationship and where it's going and, and how it's going to move forward. If you're able to make things clear to this person and they're able to make things clear to you, the likelihood of you and this person having a new beginning can happen. But until the clarity comes in, this person is just going to leave or disconnect earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Okay. Now in the near future, it looks like somebody is hurt because they're still in this place of confusion. That's why I said the seven of cups is in the present moment, seven of cups in the near future. So what's going to happen here for you? Why is the seven of cups here? So the seven of cups is clarified by the strength, the knight of cups and the king of wands. So in the near future, it looks like for many of you, you're deciding to maybe, um, keep your options open here in the near future because water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they're not really emotionally available to you or they're on and off. And this is creating some sort of pain in the near future. Magician, page of swords and the sun. Yeah. It's like, you know what you're questioning, Sagittarius, you're questioning, am I ever going to be happy again? Is somebody ever going to commit to me? Are they going to give me what I actually need? Because that's what you're manifesting. And the reason why somebody here is disconnecting or choosing to disconnect is because one, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to be in a relationship with someone who's constantly on and off with them. So what ends up happening is somebody here cuts the other person off. Okay. Knight of swords. They're, they're like, I'm done. Why? Because they're looking for happiness. They don't want to be in this place anymore of wishy-washy energy. There's a wishy-washy energy here in the near future. Tell me more about the Knight of swords. Why is it here, what does Sagittarius need to know? You have the chariot, the knight of pentacles and the five of swords. Yeah. So there's a conflict here, power struggle. And again, this is why somebody here is choosing to cut the other person off. They're taking way too long and the other person wants to move forward. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. It's not the greatest reading, but that's what I'm seeing here. There's something here that is coming to your attention. And because somebody here is not willing to give stability and they're constantly emotionally on and off is creating trust issues. Okay. So what is the advice? You have the nine of pentacles, the queen of pentacles and the nine of cups. Your biggest piece of advice here is to really recognize Sagittarius. What is going to make you happy? I think your main focus right now, what spirit is telling you is you need to focus on increasing your financial situation. You need to learn how to stand on your own two feet. If you truly want an opportunity, either whether that's you giving an opportunity or receiving an opportunity, you need to be in a place of happiness. And the only person who can really give 
that happiness to you is yourself. Standing on your own two feet and focusing on becoming independent and becoming the best version of yourself is what is gonna bring forth this opportunity. Not being involved in people creating drama, um, you know, forcing people to be with you and all of that. Somebody is gonna be with you when you're able to stand on your own two feet and be that confident person that you're meant to be. And that's what spirit wants to see from you. Spirit wants to see you in a place of fulfillment. Once you're in a place of happiness and fulfillment, it's so much easier to attract what it is that you want into your life, okay? So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.